Happy Friday the 13th. It's Friday, October 13th. I am Super Frank, and sitting next to me is... Andrew Tao. Hey, and we're here from XGen with really exciting news. So it was a month ago today, actually 30 days ago today, on September the 13th, that we launched the first 5G broadcast station in the world to be on 24-7, and the very first station in the United States. And since then, it has been running totally stable with one little problem. <gasps> Nobody could get it. Oh. <gasps> but today, we're here to say, yes, you can pick up WWOO in Boston. Now, is it going to be easy? Can I get it today on these wonderful self uh, smartphones? Excuse me. And the answer is no, absolutely not. We're probably about a year away from that. But what is today's solution? Well, it's a little techie. It's a little, it's ham radio operators and techies. And it's called an SDR, Software Defined Radio, as modeled by Andrew. Uh, and a Software Defined Radio can pick up WWOO, Channel 28 in Boston, if it has the right configurations and the right software. And today we're here to say, yes, go to our site, www.xgn.network. That's www.xgn.network. And right up top, it says SDR. And you go to that tab, press SDR, and poof, what happens? You get a page to register. You register on that page. Well, it says some nice things first. And then you register, and then you come to a license agreement. Mm, Got to sign that. And then that takes you to the installation page. So the first thing we have to do is thank a couple people. First is the Free Software Foundation and the GNU Afro Public, uh, General Public License. Uh, that's who we're using along with 5G uh, mag reference tools. So you will find a link there to 5G mag. You will find more information as you go in there. And then once you're in, you get to work the magic. You get to configure the SDR to receive WWOO. Now, we are not in Boston. We're in Connecticut. So we can't show you the feed today. Sorry about that. Uh, we can't show you the feed from the station. However, if you want to see what it looks like on an SDR, go to the video that's just below this one. And that's the video of our live launch on September the 13th. Go to about the five minute, 30 second mark, and you will see us demonstrating an SDR straight to a 65 inch TV in 1080p. And it looks great. It mm -hmm. actually even looks better than I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's definitely better than me. So once you go in there and agree and get to uh, get through all that, you get to the exciting part called the instructions. Yes. And Andrew is here to tell you all about instructions. First things first, we have to talk about system requirements. So make sure that you're running at least an i5 or higher, 10th generation from Intel or newer. Uh, at least have 16 gigs of RAM, and you're running uh, Ubuntu 22.04. Any of those subversions of that is totally fine. Highly recommend it, because that's what I'm using with this SDR from Blade RF. And I'm using the SOPI protocol using this. The what? Sophie, oh, that's okay. the that's the software. So it's clean. This. It's very clean. Uh, okay. And speaking of clean, we even made these instructions very clean and simple just for you, so you can easily do this, so you can capture our feed. So so simple, I could do it. So simple, you can do it. As mm. long as you know how to copy and paste, you, you are a okay. Okay. So with those instructions, you have your first set of lines in put uh, into the terminal. That's going to be a pseudo code to download and install the. The, uh, oh, I'm already forgetting this. Uh, the repository, sorry. Would you like this? Oh, yes, that's oh, why okay. we have instructions, so we, <laughs> we know exactly what to do. So the first pseudocode is to download and install the repository. After that, you're going to update that software. 
And if you don't have VLC already downloaded and installed, don't worry, that's what the third uh, set of line is for. That would do it for you. And lastly, once you get all that done, you do the last line in terminal and that will auto start VLC for you, already tune into our frequency and start playing our feed. And once you receive that, there's gonna be a QR code about right about there on your screen. Scan that and that will take you to a prize. Huh? A prize? Yeah. Like what? Uh, good enough to where you can have bragging rights to you, all your friends, and everyone in your hobbyist group or industry. Hmm, that sounds interesting, but I don't know if I could do this. This sounds a little complicated for me. You know, it, it, it is a little scary at first. You know, it's not for, you know, the, the faint of heart. the fainted hearts out there. But I believe in you just as much as I believe in him. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so give it a try, give it a whirl, um, and uh, hopefully you can pick up WWOO. Now, today, if you pick up WWOO, you're going to see NASA, not France 24. And why did we do that? Because NASA is showing programming of a launch, and we're launching the SDR. So we thought they married together really well and were kind of clever and we figured that out over morning coffee and said, let's be clever for once. Uh, and that's what we did. So you'll see that France 24 will return, rest assured. But that's uh, kind of what is going on. Now, if you saw our live stream earlier today, you'll realize this is a little different. And the reason it's different is because the live stream we were told had a lot of echo, had a lot of echo in our voices. Now, while you love hearing two of us, I mean four of us is a bit much. Yeah. So we decided to come back in, redo this, and clean it up. Not necessarily clean up our rack, but clean up the uh, video. So that being said, we thank you very much for joining us. Have fun with. 5G broadcast, it is the future, and you're on the cutting edge. So thank you. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your day. Andrew? Thank you, and I uh, can't wait for everyone to support their, uh, their prize.